Atletico Madrid have terminated Diego Costa's contract at the Spanish side, allowing him to move on a free transfer during the January transfer window. Arsenal and Juventus are thought to be among the clubs who will be keen to snap up the veteran striker when the window opens on Friday. After falling down the pecking order under Diego Simeon, Costa is understood to have instructed Atletico to tear up his contract which had just six months to run, with the striker picking up £270,000 a week. Costa was given permission to miss training on Monday, as he sought to leave the club over personal reasons. He remains convinced he can still compete at the top in Europe for around two or three seasons and his sudden availability as a free agent is likely to make him hot property in the transfer window. Arsenal are seen as offering a favourable situation for Costa with Gunners boss Mikel Arteta determined to add reinforcements in January to help salvage a campaign that has threatened a relegation battle. His misfiring side have managed just 15 goals in the Premier League this season, with Arsenal slumped in 15th. Only Burnley outside of the bottom three have netted fewer goals with eight. Juventus are also looking for a striker, who can alternate with Alvaro Morata, and the former Chelsea star seems to be perfect for this role. Despite Costa now being a free agent, he can only move when the transfer window reopens having been under contract at Madrid for the first half of the season. However, he will not be tied down to any deadline and would still be free to move to a new side after January if by then he has still not signed for a new team. Ahead of his side's match against Getafe on Wednesday, Simeon reflected on co-star's departure by trying to focus on the good memories he and the player enjoyed at the club. Simeon said, may he find the best way and be able to hug each other when we meet. The best thing that remains of this is to have good memories of what we have been through together. Costa enjoyed his previous Premier League experience at Chelsea where he won two Premier League titles before dramatically falling out with manager Antonio Conte over the summer of 2017. Although the Spanish striker's sudden availability will alert many, he could put many suitors off if his wage demands match the contract he was on at the Wanda Metropolitano, especially given his recent fitness issues as well as a lack of goals. The 32-year-old has struggled for minutes and injuries this term, with leg and muscle injuries seeing him miss six out of seven La Liga games from the end of October to the middle of December while those same problems kept him out of Champions League action. However even when fit he has struggled to gain a place in the first team, starting just two games this term as Simeon leaned towards Joao Felix and Luis Suarez as his main attacking options. The arrival of Suarez from Barcelona over the summer pushed Diego Costa further away from Simeon's radar, who favoured his exit on Tuesday. Across his seven game he has found the net twice with his most recent strike coming from off the bench at Elche, in a La Liga match before Christmas. Costa rejoined Atletico for a third spell from Chelsea for £54 million during the 2017-18 season. But he has struggled for goals during that time, with his seven in his first half season back followed by consecutive campaigns where he found the net just five times. Meanwhile with Costa now off their books, Atletico will begin working on finding a replacement with Napoli's out of favour forward Napoli outcast Arkadiusz Malik of interest to the La Liga leaders. However, Simeon may find he will be unable to directly replace Costa, with Atletico struggling financially since the outbreak of the coronavirus. It was very recent with Diego, the Atletico boss added. The sports management works to find the best for the team in any situation that may happen. The club will tell me what they think and then we will share situations if someone comes to fill the position that Diego has left empty. I will not explain the contractual issues. We want to help Diego as he has been helped, but obviously we do not want to harm ourselves. The people who work at the club will have put the balance between club outing and wellness. The club already had an incredibly high wage bill at around an eye-watering £312 million annually, with co-stars weekly wage only topped by goalkeeper Jan Oblak who earns £320,000 a week. Simeon, meanwhile, 
earns an incredible £700,000 a week as the highest earning manager in football.